Okay, shalom. Shalom kwam yasala kuholoinla. Yawa pahashem yawashai. Pahashem rakahakudash double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yachan on the Waf, just coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And of course, you have this, um, this Hathis of uh, strikes on um, Israel and Tel Aviv. Not hearing too much about it on the news, of course. A lot going on, a lot covering up a lot of these, um, these stories. But this is, um, you know. End times prophecy, man. These wars, rumors of wars, right? So I'm gonna play um, one of these videos right here. This one right here supposedly be the moment that the strike hit, 51 seconds. Um, I think it's kind of got a little, little uh, pause on the volume in it. But you know, of course, it's it's just you know you you'll see what it is. So we gonna play this one first. Um, throw a commercial or something in there, so Salakia, NBC News. But the thing of it is, is if these are the the people of the scriptures, then prophetically, none of these things should be happening. You see? So here we go, right here. That's not supposed to be happening, man. With the the, the uh, you know, when the, the so-called when the children of Israel prophetically enters back into the land. See, there you have it there. Should be another one coming up. Uh, to Shalaki. This guy, he's I much. was dead asleep, and I I came from Safat, so I know the sound of rockets, and I used to sleep through them. There were so many, but this sound of this drone was like a vibration that woke me right up, and then the explosion rattled the whole building. I thought I the, our building got hit because everything was falling from the ceiling, and the windows blew out in my room, and I came right downstairs immediately, and I... Uh, I've been, you know, in this whole melee since uh, since it happened. I was one of the first people that came outside, so uh, immediately, because I was affected by it myself. And like I said, sadly, the only casualty happens to be someone I know who worked in where I'm staying. Evgeny is his name. Um, like I said, I, I heard what was happening. I knew it was something different. And here, immediately, there was a big fire over in that garbage dumpster. And there was glass all over the street and everywhere. And, and um, my pl whole place had, I was covered with uh, things from the ceiling and stuff. And um, the, the situation was like chaotic at first because no one knew what was going on. And the, uh, all the forces, though, showed up like instantaneously as if they almost were waiting for it. It's pretty weird how fast the uh, army and everyone was here. So they took care of, you know, securing the situation pretty, pretty damn fast. Okay, and there you have it. So, things like this shouldn't be happening, man, with, with them being there. But let me get this. Um, now, this is what Yahweh spoke of, too. In the end days, when the disciples asked him what will be going down in the, um, in the end times, Matthew 24. And these are end times prophecies, man. We're, we're definitely um, at the point of, of the Lord's, Lord's return. Okay, so Matthew 24 and 3, let me start there, it says, And as he sat upon the, the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So the disciples is asking him straight up, you know, like, what's going to be happening? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, and that's the true name of the, um, the son as well. His name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of our father is Yahweh, which means that he's he exists with the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. So, and those names are very important to know because 
these people that are in this land, they are imposters. And the script in the scriptures talks about um, there will be a, a, a bastard in Ashdod, you know, that there will be uh, people in the land basically fighting. You know, they, they split um, the Lord's land man, and departed his um, his heritage, basically, man. Some people don't, don't have no business there, neither uh, of them nor those Palestinians. They don't fit the prophecies because if they fit these prophecies, then there will be total peace, man. There wouldn't be no more wars, you know? So, <laughs> I mean, it's a clear cut that these are not the people, man. Okay, it says, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am I'm a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we shouldn't be hearing of no wars or rumors of wars once the children of Israel get off into the land prophetically. They, 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 they force their, their way into that land, man. Balfour Declaration, with the help of, you know, um, you know, uh, 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 pretty much just other so-called white people. <laughs> I mean, for real. Verse 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. So the wars and rumors of wars, what do you think is going to, um, you know, amplify from this? It's just going to be more turn up. Israel trying to fight, you know, two fronts. They, you know, they, 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 they fighting in the back. They fighting in the front. They fighting on their sides. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just going to draw America in. Because the scripture talks about um, how the least of the flock should draw them out. Let me see. Yeah, Jeremiah 49 and 20, it says, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that he hath taken against Edom. And Edom is the Edomites, Esau, Idumians, man. That's that biblical name for the so-called white man. His race of people and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of, Tim of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. So they are the least of the flock. They the ones that's running around out here telling you that they 2% of the population, but you're running the whole damn world. Don't the scripture says that, you know, um, um, the, the children of Israel will be like the sand of the sea, innumerable? How are you 2% of the population? The Israelites are supposed to be the, the uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the most populated people on the planet, according to the scriptures. But according to them, they are the least of the people and everybody just picking on them. Come on, bro. Anyway. And I didn't want to keep this long, I mean, you know, because, um, you know, Esau, they, they get... They get, they get the, you know, they get all up in arms when you get to talking about stuff like this. Isaiah chapter 60. Let me just start at verse. I could, I mean, we could just read it all. Let me, let me start at verse 10 here. I'm going to read it in the NLT. Let's see how the NLT, the New Living Translation, uh, reads it. Because there in the land, this should be. It, you know, it, it, it reads in the, in the subtitle that the fu this is the future glory of Israel, right? Once they get to the land. I'm just going to, let me start at verse 10. Foreigners will come to rebuild your towns. I, I don't think no foreigners uh, um, are in, in, in Israel building no towns up. Their kings will serve you. For though... I have destroyed you in my anger. I will now have mercy on you through my grace. Your gates. So uh, what kings are serving them? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got um just recently. Matter of fact, everybody, uh, uh, all these, it, it's, I think it's probably about a hundred or so countries that don't even acknowledge uh, uh, Israel as being a state. Or actually, they don't even acknowledge them. You know, they, they you know, they, they, a lot of them are, are you know, they, they come out and they, just plainly say, hey, you are not the people. Verse 11, it says, your gates will stay open day and night. And you know damn well their gates not open. They won't even let their allies through with the supplies that they're supposed to be um, taking to the, the, uh, the people in Gaza, the Palestinians in Gaza. They won't even let them. Here you go, your allies trying to get through. 
You got all this aid, you got medicine, you got food, you know, the people over there starving and all this other shit. But but because your gates are closed. Your gates have always been closed. Ain't nobody just rolling off in there, you know? It says, your gates will stay open day and night to receive the wealth of many lands. That's not happening. The kings of the world will be led as captives in a victory procession. That's that 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 hasn't happened. For the nations that refuse to serve you will be destroyed. There's plenty of these nations that they 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 not even they they, they don't even like you. You know, and and they're not being destroyed. They haven't been destroyed. You've been there for how long? For like seventy five years. They should be destroyed. Or th this should be playing out at least by now. Okay, it says the glory of Lebanon will be yours. The forest of 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 cypress, fir, and pine. To beautify my sanctuary, my temple will be glorious. The descendants of your tormentors will come and bow before you. Those who despise you will kiss your feet. They will call you the city of the Lord and Zion of the Holy One of Israel. See? Though you were once despised and hated, hated with no one traveling through you, I will make you beautiful forever, a joy to all generations. Powerful kings and mighty nations will satisfy your every need. And though you were a child nursing at the breast of a queen, you will know at, at last that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. See? So now in, 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 in the King James it says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shall suck the breast of kings, which basically goes off into, um, you know, pretty much you'll have their wealth, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You, you will be taken care of. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. See? Verse 18 is the point. I'm just going to jump right to that. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. You motherfuckers just shot a damn bomb in your shit. Your own people. Matter of fact, the, the, the Israelis is over there, you know, um, protesting and tearing shit up. And then what is Tel Aviv? Tel Aviv is, is what, what, what are they known for? The largest LGBTQ uh, uh, parade every year. You think that would really be going on if the Lord had returned the children of Israel back to the land? All these things supposed to be playing out right here. It says, violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. You know, why isn't that happening? They've been there 75 years. You think, uh, you know, this would have done happened by now. This is supposed to have been happening day one. And then where's the where's the Lord? Where's King David? You know, where are the um 144,000 elect? You know? Where are the 12, you know, um, um, um disciples or the 12 apostles that's supposed to rule, you know, underneath King David? Where's the streets of gold? You know, where where are these, you know, these 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 gates um, um that's for the 12 tribes of Israel? Why aren't why are you the only ones that's there screaming Jew, Jew, Jew? But where are the other tribes at? Where's the tribe of Zebulon? Where's the tribe of Asher? Where's the tribe of, of, of Naphtali? Where, you know, where are the other tribes at? Because Jew just means a, a, a Judah. That's only one tribe. Jacob had 12 sons. Where are the other? Are the, those, those are the 12 tribes of Israel. Those 12 sons, where are the other, where the other children of Israel at? So we, we know that, you know, this is, um, you know, just something that's, it, it, it's not true and it's starting to come out that it's not true and a lot of um you know information is out here on it and, and that's why they're coming up with all these laws about you know anti this and anti that you know for telling simple truths man uh, let's see uh, I'm just gonna let me see if, if something pop up on this how many nations do not recognize Israel. It says, as of November 2023, 30 countries do not recognize Israel as a state, including 28 UN member states. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. These, these are the nations that's supposed to be bowing to you and bringing you, <laughs> you know, your gates are not supposed to be uh, closed day or night. You know, they, these people are supposed to be destroyed because they don't even acknowledge you as a nation. So what's going on here? See? Yeah. 
It says most of these countries are Muslim. Okay, so even if they're Muslim, they should be destroyed. Isn't that what the scriptures just said? And do not recognize Israel due to the Arab-Israeli conflict, particularly the, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Some countries have also broken off diplomatic relations with Israel, including Belize, Bolivia, Maldives, Mali, Mauritania, and Niger. Probably some more. Anyway, though, my thing is, let's go back to that scripture real quick. Verse 12, Isaiah 16 and 12, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. What's going on? When is this going to happen? You've been there 75 years. You've been there since 1948. See? See, the things, that you know, it don't line up, man. It don't line up. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. These scriptures are talking about you. When we return to that land, these things are going to um, prophet prophetically happen. They're going to come to pass when, when, when we come into that land. Because clearly right here, look. Verse 18 says, Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. Here you go. You relying on the Iron Dome and the Iron Dome it didn't even catch that shit. The, the Iron Dome missed that boy, right? So let's just go back. Um, let's go back into it. We just clearly seen the video uh, uh, of some shit entering into your airspace and blowing up damn apartments. It's not supposed to be happening if you're the people, man. So, you know, I'm going to end out there. I'm not going to keep it too long. You know how they, you know, they're a little sensitive about these things. In Tel Aviv, right? Crazy, bro. All right, but with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah. Nababa Ball.